problems with rashes or ulcers or other skin irritations, you probably think you need to see a dermatologist, but you might need to see a totally different kind of doctor to find out what lies beneath. Dr. Carlos Hamilton from the Hamilton Vein Center is back to explain why, and he is joined by his patient, Cliff English. Please welcome them to the show this morning. Thank you, Barbara. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, Oftentimes, what we yes. see on top of the skin, yes. we think is, is a dermatology issue, right. when really it is about what lies beneath and in the vein structure. You're absolutely right, especially when these um, kind of skin issues are around the ankle and the lower leg, because that's where the big problem from the vein shows up, especially in people without the big bulging veins. Then the people tend to get darker skin around the ankles. They can get ulcers and get an itchy rash that can try steroid cream after steroid cream and it just never takes care of it. Because it's not taking care of the problem, Absolutely. it's just trying to address Absolutely. the symptom. It's just all this inflammation that comes from the veins not working right and stretching out the veins underneath there. And so those are really important things and a lot of times what we find is people have gone to doctor after doctor after doctor and it just hasn't been recognized as an underlying vein problem because there aren't bulging veins. Yeah. So anyway, those are some things to keep in mind. Okay, now Cliff, what was happening with, uh, with your leg? Uh, well, it's kind of a long story short, I got a, was in a bar fight slash robbery back in 91. Sounds and, like a movie. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, and I, I, I got the bat end of the stick. I got shot with a 12 gauge. So uh, wow. I was uh, 21 years old. It's on Christmas Eve back in 91. Anyways, they said that, uh, you know, years later, they couldn't take out all the steel. At the time, it was steel. So they, they right. said, we'll leave it in. If it was lead, they'd have to, you know, take it all out. So at the time, they said, we'll just leave it in. And years later, you're probably going to have some problems with your leg, be it arthritic, some with your veins, uh, what have you. So and they're pretty much right on the money because around 40 years old, I started having some issues. Uh, you know, my leg would throb, it would get hot, it would get cold. Uh, at night, I'd, I'd get cramps, I'd start to itch my leg. And, and my veins yeah, got... And this is, this is your leg right yes, there. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty, okay. so, it's pretty what gnarly. So what's happening pretty gnarly. here, Dr. Hamilton? And the thing is, is that sure. um, you don't have to get shot in the leg for something like this to happen. No, you people, don't. People, you don't. You yeah. don't. people who've had a much yes. more that boring life yeah. have <laughs> legs like this as, as exa- well. <laughs> <laughs> you see this a lot, but... Uh, That's exactly okay. right. So you what know, was happening? I, I think that certainly getting shot in the leg with a 12 gauge does yes. not help the situation. Yes, but, yes, true, true. Cliff's problems were also farther up in the leg, too. And it may not have shown up for another, you know, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 years. Who knows um, if he hadn't gotten shot in the leg. But mm-hmm. the fact is, is that part of his problem was up in the thigh. But, you know, with all the kind of buckshot all over there, it, right. it brought this out. So anyway, so these veins stopped working. They started bulging. And um, they were really, it's a little bit hard to tell. They're, they're really good size. Yeah. And um, Cliff had a lot of, you know, problems with it, like he was saying. And so the real thing on this is the first treatment we do is go up in the thigh to close the source of the problem. Yeah, and we say go up in the thigh. Yes. This is a cool thing yes. about today. Right. As, yes. as opposed yes. to yes. yesteryear, you're not yes. like slicing open a whole thigh you and going and doing surgery, right? right. right? No. Absolutely not. We're not pulling out any You don't strike me as that kind of guy after getting shot. No, ma'am, shot no, ma'am. It was, no, it was actually, yeah. a, well, no, it was actually you better here. That was paid free. The whole deal was, uh, I mean, I was totally impressed. I got to say something about this doctor. He's a cool guy, man. I, uh, you know, I'm in the IT industry, so I uh, did a lot of research. Uh, you know, even if you're buying a TV, man, you want to look up, see, see what kind of reviews you got on uh-huh. How can I find a bad thing on this guy anywhere on the Internet? I mean, I looked everywhere. I was trying to find something. I was like, let me just find one thing, you know, so give me a reason not to go not to go see him, you know? Yeah. But I didn't, so I went and saw him, and, man, it was like, you know, he was great. I, I didn't feel any pain in the procedures. Everybody there was cool. Uh, um, in fact, I want to, if you lift up your yes, leg ma'am. here, I mean, yeah, actually, now, 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 I just had a, my last surgery was last Wednesday, so you would think there'd probably be a lot of, you know, bruising and swelling, and there's nothing there. You might see a little couple marks, like, like maybe mosquito bites, less than yeah, West Nile. Yeah, where your entry point is, right? <laughs> yeah, <You know? laughs> no, no, West Nile. Okay. Everybody came so, on the sunglasses, my leg's yeah. a little bright, so I haven't seen sun in a long time. <laughs> but, um. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. And again, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. of course, it's still, of course, it's still healing. Of course, it's still yeah. healing. You can see where they made incisions right. in me. And I mean, this is for a few days. I mean, it's 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 healed relatively fast. Uh, I guess the human body is pretty resilient, you know. Yeah. So. And what yeah. brought you in, of course, is what brings a lot of people is that they finally their legs, like you said, hot, cold, painful. Uh, they feel heavy. And again, people think it's a muscular thing. It's not. That's a good sign that your veins aren't working properly. That's absolutely right. You know, and Cliff had a combination of all of the symptoms. But he also didn't like the way that you know the veins looked and stuff. And so, you know, we're able to take care of you know both of those things now. I mean, you can yeah. tell it's a huge physically and cosmetically. I and mean, he's. Back to exercising, I, doing everything. I mean, I didn't you want know. you know, you know, being 
Well, a semi-young guy. I, you know, you don't want to. Yeah. You know, you want to wear some shorts, bust a move out of the beach or something, or even if bust a move out on the I'm beach. I'm just saying, something. you know, you don't want to. <laughs> yes, yes. You don't want to uh, walk around. You know, everybody, everybody in my family, my girl, my mom. Oh, hey, love y'all. By the way, I want to give a shout. Yes. Out. <laughs> She's probably watching right now in Florida. Uh, I want to know where I can catch your shows, like three shows daily somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> <doing> stand up. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, I mean, the fact that it helped me two, two ways, you know, physically and cosmetically. So, I mean, I think it's a great thing if somebody, and, and, and people, you would think that most people have to be elderly to experience these problems or something. That's not true. I mean, uh. It's right, because Dr. Humble, it can be hereditary. Absolutely. It can be kind of the job you have if you're on your feet all day. You're absolutely pressure. right. And um, it gets everybody. I mean, we saw a 15-year-old girl last week, and we take care of people all the way up through their mid-90s. Some of these pictures are... These, these aren't me, by the way. These are not, like these are not you know. Cliff. But I've seen Just people like this before, yes. and I thought it was a dermatology Ab issue. Absolutely, and most people do. And so this is the darkening of the skin around the ankles. It can have a whole bunch of different forms. You may or may not see big veins on it. This, All of this is from vein problem right here. And the next step on these things is it turns into an ulcer, which will probably be coming up here soon. And that... Once it gets to that point, the ulcer can be treated forever. We see people like that's wow. a big old, that big wow. old hole. Is so you want to get it sooner than later. Yes, obviously. you want to get it before that point. And um, you know, once those ulcers, we've seen people with them for that have had them for years and years and years. And then once you chart, treat the veins, which are the cause of it, that stuff. It gets better. Yeah, but I just want to point works. out that I've, really been, I've actually seen you do a procedure before, and the person got right up and walked on out. People can go you know, right running, go right shopping, away. go whatever, right, right away. away. So it's not, again, if you heard of a, a grandma had a vein surgery yeah, years this ago, is, it's this not is what a we different do today. deal. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. This, I mean, you get up, people go right back to work, to the gym, kids, whatever they've got to do. All right, Dr. Hamilton, thank, thank, thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you very thank you, much. Good looking leg. You can go in for a free consultation to any one of the four Houston area locations for the Hamilton Vein Center. For more information, you can call 281. 1-565-0033, 281-565-0033, or visit their website at hamiltonvane.com. Thanks again.